Hello again, I'm back for a quick video. I just wanted to show accumulation pattern that can be seen on the ASX financials, particularly the weekly, that's the weekly there. If you look at the daily first, um, in hindsight, you can see it. Pretty much that price has come down with the coronavirus issues and then it's gone sideways and now it's actually coming to break out. It makes much more sense on the weekly chart, as most charts do, if you're trying to get an overview of what's actually been happening. This bar here on the very high volume, you can see that volume has increased considerably as we go into the coronavirus issues. But this bar that I've marked, it's closed in the middle on very high volume and from that, you can pretty much say that price has come down and then it's been bought by the market off its lows back up to close in the middle. So if we draw a line across there, and we'll say that above this line, above this line, we're expecting there to be supply, and below this line, where the buyers have bought the market, there would be no supply because it's been bought and it's being held. Now, the next bar, it goes back down again, really threatens the market on very high volume again. And it closes low, just to give a really bad gut feeling. And then there's a, a final sort of shakeout sort of bar. I imagine if you looked at the daily, it's gone up first in response to the actual buying within this bar. And then it's plunged down and then close back in the middle on still very high volume. Now, at the time, you wouldn't have known either way what's going on. But then you get your first hint when the next bar is actually up in response. That's this bar here. And um, volume is still high, if you look. It looks uh, not as high as the previous three bars, but if you draw a line across, um, it's considerably higher than general trading. This is all the general trading that happened before considerably higher than that. So it's still fairly high volume. I imagine on this bar what's happened is price has gone up in response to the buying in the previous bar and then the demand has been withdrawn and it's fallen down under its own weight to close poorly near the lower of the bar. This is a way that market professionals use to buy the market without pushing price against themselves too far. They'll what I call buy the offer. They'll buy all the stock on offer up to a certain level and then they'll withdraw that demand and the market will start to settle and just float lower or sink lower gently uh, because the demand's not there that was previously and without that demand in the market, price just falls slowly. It can't sustain itself at a certain level. Now, the real point of this we draw a, a line across here at the close of this bar, these three bars, or this first one below the close, and these three bars, I'm saying, was strong buying. It was hard to tell at the time and you couldn't be certain, but I considered it was strong buying and it turned out to be so. Now, these bars all across here, they all had fairly good volume. From here across, it was still higher than the average volume for the period so it was still good volume but what didn't happen was price didn't break down it kept on going sideways 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 and sometimes you need to understand what hasn't happened infers what actually has happened now because it didn't go down something had to be going on there was still good strong volume going through all the way up to here and price didn't break down so price must have been getting bought. And another thing, there was a real contraction in the ranges. Price contracted all the way down. The price range contracted. It was getting tighter and tighter. Um, often when price ranges contract like this, there's an expansion in price range at some sort, sometime. And that came about here. You can see after all this buying here, we're saying this is all buying in here, including these three bars on very high volume, prices then expanded out, it couldn't hold back any longer, 
and it's pushed up to where we've agreed that supply sits above this line. This is the weekly line. You see the next bar, it tentatively pushes over the top of that line to see how much supply is there and volume was much lower. And then you've got an absorption type bar which was probably developed also by the actual trading in the market at the time, but it's pushed up, sort of like a buy the offer, but it wasn't really. It was an absor what I call an absorption bar. It's pushed up and then settled back down, just absorbing the supply surrounding this level because it was always going to be an issue above this line. And then this bar was just a tentative up bar. An increase in volume and a decrease in range, so there's definitely still supply here, but there's an attempt to to absorb the supply sitting at this level and if it's successful I imagine price will push out. So hopefully that makes sense. The key thing here is that on all this increased volume price didn't continue breaking down and sometimes when you look at what didn't happen it will then tell you in reverse what actually did happen. In this case price didn't break down and on all that volume, something must have been happening and it was actually being accumulated. Okay, that's all I've got time for today. Thanks. See ya.